Heim. This is the first episode of Season 2, Chapter 2, where I'm going to take on the Elder. Last episode, I defeated Ichthyr. I've run back to my base. I've put the trophy up. And now it's time to take those hard antlers and make a pickaxe. Go find some tin, go find some copper, and begin upgrading into the Bronze Age. I've got a couple of Certling core, and I can certainly get more of those. And last, I found tin. It was over in this direction. I got a home halfway there. And again, I can't make any portals until I get some fine wood and I can't easily get fine wood until I get a sharp enough axe and that's kind of what I'm about to try to take care of so let's get ready now, since mostly I'm going to be running and chopping I'm going to want some stamina food but since I'm going to be in a little bit of a sketchier neighborhood I'm also going to want at least one health food. Probably going to be my deer meat at this point. Got to keep for that purpose of health. And, uh, you know, right now I guess honey is still the best thing I've got. So we're just going to hold on to that. And grab ourselves the blueberries because that's the second best. And uh, while I might not have a full load of those, I'm going to be in the Black Forest doing some mining, so I ought to be able to find a few. Again, we're going to make the pickaxe out of those antlers. We're going to carry three of them around with us. I'm go ahead and hold on to a few of these wooden arrows. See, now I'm really not going to need these trophies anymore for anything other than decoration. of getting my mind settled. Now, gray dwarf, gray dwarf eyes I consider food. Slash hide. But right now, that's kind of what that bucket is. It is going to not be long now before I outgrow my current base. So it's just kind of now a matter of not if, but when. I'll be building a new, larger base. And then kind of looking at this as perhaps a older storage system, an overflow. Well, let's make this pickaxe. No further ado. Needs wood! Of course it needs wood. That's what I'm always out of, is wood. So let's go ahead and take care of that need. Post haste. Stick you in there for now. Time to chop some trees. Hey there, boar. You're on the sh chopping block. But I don't need boar meat soon. I've got more boar meat than I've got storage at this point. All right. Now, the interesting thing here is I do detect the opportunity to hit enough trees with enough trees to maybe get some fine wood. Grab a few mushrooms from this yummy plot. Which I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect to my trail network while I'm here. Uh, it kind of looks like I already was. Just kind of that vague trail that's on the incline. Alright. Now. Let's go chopping trees and see if I can get lucky, get a chain reaction, get some fine wood just to just to have it really. Timber. No, no, that didn't go anywhere. And it's time to redo these.
was hoping for was a more of a downhill roll on these trees. But this one fell backwards against where I wanted it to go. See that? See, that's what I want. Fall against those birches. Where are you going? Where are you going? I go. Oh. Uh oh. Yes. <laughs> I don't know though. What do we got over here in terms of blueberry bushes? All right. Good. If there were any, they're not there now. <laughs> okay. Not exactly the direction I was going for. That's good though. So yeah, basically, if I can get enough trees to fall over there on top of that other one. I mean, all these trees eventually are probably just going to go. I'm just going to get to it. Let's just let's just have a chopping madness. I don't need to be that neat right now. Let's just get some trees for the antlers and see what sort of mayhem we can cause in our neighborhood. Hey, yo! Look at that. Where's it going? Nobody knows. Is it hitting blueberries? Raspberries? Probably. Yes, indeed, that one did. It didn't look like it killed him. These are some lucky raspberries, y'all. They've survived numerous attempts by me to destroy them. That's <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. It split it in half, but it didn't break it yet. <laughs> okay. Let's see what this does. Nope. Where are you going? Where are you going? Go ahead. Roll, baby. Roll. Roll. <laughs> hit something before you hit the water. Yeah, it's good. Hit it again. Oh, not hard enough. All right, we're just going to leave you there. <laughs> okay, we're having fun. Rolling logs. Almost hitting raspberries. Look at this. I'm getting plenty of wood to get those antler pickaxes and have a little extra. So as I was saying earlier, it's just about time to get this base upgraded. to my raspberries probably onto my fence I'd like to set a timer so excited to get season two started here I'm not taking care of my fundamentals so we're gonna check on that Got eight minutes in, so 12 minutes, 22 minutes to go. I can do math and think at the same time. I got plenty of wood, but might as well fill up my bags. Look at that. I got some fine wood, y'all. <laughs> okay. Now, the good news is, I think already I can use some of this fine wood to make a chair, which will give me a little bit extra thing, a little extra stuff, even the uh, all these little banners and stuff. Whatever I don't need nails for. So let's go ahead and see what I can do with that. Definitely got some wood here. I couldn't pick up as much as was there because of full bags. So let's go back and get another load. See how much fine wood we've got. Can't do anything with one piece, but certainly do some with a handful. Make a chair, make a banner, something. Get my comfort level up. And where were we? On the way over there. Yeah, a little ingenuity and you can get some fine wood before you get an axe. Just by making things fall on things. Ah. 
don't you even go to my raspberries. Alright. Okay. I'm going to clean up this a little bit. I'm excited about seeing what I can do with this fine wood. And also making those antler pickaxes. Been a long day already. Plenty of stumps. I'm just going to wait till I get a better axe for those. And yeah, there's a lot of options here for what I can do for my secondary base where I'm going to expand, leave this kind of behind as my pig farm. And um, like I say, it's really just like <laughs> a challenge in this landscape to find anything flat enough. But once I have a pickaxe, I'll be able to flatten land to my heart's extent. Uh, have a large wall behind me or whatever I want. So can't go too far down, but can do pretty good. I kind of like this. Kind of like the idea of this straight downhill to this dock area. So I believe this is where I'm going to be expanding this way. Have a blueberry patch right on my yard, things like that. So I have that in the plans. All right, let's go see what we can do right now though about my current digs. Gussy them up a little bit just to have a larger resting period. Plenty of wood, y'all. Let's see. Yes, I can make a chair. Seven comfort. How about that? And uh, looks like for banners, yeah, just need to get one more piece of fine wood. And I'll be able to make one of these fine banners, which will also add to it, and maybe a Yule clap. So, fine upgrades already. Now, I don't know if this adds to looks or not. I don't know if I have 99, but I'm just going to give it a shot real quick. I do not have 99. <laughs> uh, okay. Because any little bit helps when it comes to rest. Okay. okay, a little bit, a little bit of a tight squeeze in here. This is again why I'm needing to upgrade soon. Doesn't really need to be as functional right now as it does need to be. Well, other way around. Doesn't need to look right so much as it needs to be functional. I'm going to make three of these. That's my antler pickaxe. Huge step up in Viking technology. All right, take a seat here. Just kind of think about things. So yeah, we'll get 14 minutes of rested comfort now. So I need to go find some tin. these away. I'm definitely outgrowing my digs. But that's a positive. And the berries are a little bit better than mushrooms, so I'm going to store those. And uh, we'll have the deer on hand in case I need it. But uh, also I'm almost out of blueberries, so... This looks like my setup to get out to the Black Forest right after I sleep. Alright, without further ado, let's go break some ground on some tin. Again, I do think this is a little closer. If nothing else, it's closer to a place I've set up shack before. I mean, this is a sheer cliff here, but closest to the shore it's not. The copper is also over here about the same with a lot of terrain between me. What I'm going to do is end up having a footpath and a bridge along the flattest part, which is probably the coast. Start extracting things from the Black Forest. Also, maybe this is a chance to either relocate my base completely, which I might at some point, but 
probably when I'm really settled in on where I'm going to do a swamp, maybe that'll be a secondary base with boating. So at this point, I'm going to head over here and get some tin and some copper. Not a ton, just one load. Run it back. Start making stuff that'll help me do a little bit more than that. Now, if I remember right, the cart is already available. No, it is not. Just the raft. And that's no good for nobody. I mean, raft, only if you really got to. You know what I mean? And the uh, good news is, at least getting over there, we're going to have a little help in hand from Ekthir. There we go. All right, make sure everything, just a little double check on what I got. We're going to eat our stamina food. I'm going to pop eek there. And away we go. I believe I heard Hugan flapping in to tell me I activated eek there and that that's awesome. Or I just heard waves. Kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it was him. Oh, it's Tommy on pickaxe. Yeah, I know about them pickaxes. Looks like I got a bridge location here. Can fasten it to that. But uh, if possible, I might put it this far up. Don't really need to worry about getting a boat under it anytime soon. There's that home over there I built as a temporary way station. Um, but once I get some fine wood going, I'm going to be warping back and forth to the Black Forest. So I'm just kind of trying to get there soon. And, uh, right now, I'm also taking a scoping out of the terrain between me and there on the flat way. So I don't have to, I can do a full cart and not really worry about it. I'd rather go around a circle, honestly, than sit there and try to recover all my strength and stuff. But it all kind of depends exactly on it. Yeah. So I think I would be running it out here, just kind of running along the coast with my load. Just to keep it nice and even keel. Cool. Interesting. What's a channel here, maybe? Okay. I see. Yeah, I probably still want to cut across here. Depending upon now that I got the pickaxe, I can flatten anything I want, keep me pretty much here at water level. So some of these little areas I bypass. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this one I want to follow these channels. Whenever I start making a path. And this is where I found the first tin coming up. Oh yeah, okay. Hello? Gotta be over here throwing rocks at me. Well, I'm trying to play with this troll. And yeah, also, troll's a good way to take down a, a tree. <laughs> dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, come on. Aim, bud. 
I'm staying just out of reach. Oh. Ooh, you almost got me. As long as this isn't got a star over its head, not a big deal for me yet. Yeah. And you're done. Wait, what? Bad arrow. Ah. <sighs> That's my first troll of this game playthrough here in season two, first episode. 30 minute Valheim. Anything in here? No, there's not. Okay. So yeah, this little tip of black forest was where I discovered my little piece of tin. My first piece of tin, which is right there. Two, three, we got a few. So let's just get to chopping. Look at that massive improvement in skill. So we're going to about six hits. Hugan's going to tell me about ten. Probably tell me about how I need to smelt it if I dealt it. And I will be doing both of those things as soon as I get back. Yeah, how about that? Got them, got all of that. So, uh, pretty heavy. Eight p a piece. I want to grab a good even 10 and then get as many copper as I can find. Okay. Well, so that was it for this little pocket. There'd be more there, there, and there. Anywhere where there's water and black forest, guaranteed to find some tin. But once you farm it, it's gone. So, I have got 10 at least out of this because you get at least two, but I got three. So, I could get more 10 now. Plenty of it around. Certainly want to grab these blueberries. Nice blueberry patch. Nice. But what I'd prefer at this point is to go ahead and get some copper. Just a bit. Now, I am going to be doing copper popping tricks and stuff later, but for now, I'm just going to grab a few pieces. Shit. Just uh, right around the edge. And I'll be doing stuff later to get under it. Digging out an entire protected mining zone and all that. But for now, I'm just going to get as much as I can hold. With my current load. These are 10 each. So it looks like I can actually hold 10 more. Oh, hey. Sneaking up on me, are you? Alright. Alright, so let's just get some copper. And then we'll come back and set up a full-time mining operation. Oh. Certainly want to get to some burial chambers soon as well and get a few more certling core. But I'll be doing a little bit of a coal, then refining and just back and forth. If I don't already have tin. And of course I'm going to get a mix of rocks while I'm here. So I might leave those behind. And just take my copper back. Another reason I don't want to do the whole digging yet. I'd be loaded up with rocks. I have plenty of time for that later. Some of it st stuck up there in the tree. I got a tree in here in the way here. Am I hitting the copper or the tree? Going anywhere hitting that tree, that's for sure. It's 
Seven pieces. Stone's getting in my way. Get that jagged piece out of the tree later. Chop the tree down. Like I say, I'll be building a in little enclosure. Basically, to make it easy for me to do this without interference. When I start to dig a dig trench around it. Alright, eight pieces. Too many rocks, but oh, like I say I'll just throw a couple on the ground here. They'll be okay. If they disappear, I won't miss them. Let's just throw these over. Hey, I broke one of these. No need to pound your fist against the stones. Just grab one of the others. Now, I heavily advise you use some form of repetition on your keys or your controller. And don't just sit here and push buttons over and over. That's just torturing yourself. Remember posture. You know, sit up straight. All right. That is 10, over 10 copper. And over 10, 10. Which will enable us to now advance our weaponry. Well, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is advance my cutlery. I don't quite remember the combinations, so I'm going to gingerly mm, refine the ore so I can rediscover what I need at a minimum to get an axe that lets me cut the fine wood, which I will then use to make certlin cores, which will make my running and back be a lot less and allow me to Fully mine that copper and tin in that area. Without rebuilding an entire base. And not needing to run back and forth until I'm ready to bring it all home. Where am I going? The wrong direction is where. Well, that's the thing about this coast plan. I definitely want to keep to this creek. Cut off that part of the thing. But I don't want to go up and over these hills with a cart. I just rather have a flat coastal run. A little further than I want it to be, but. Like I say, I'm going to be shortcutting it soon. 50 seconds of rest. I'm right over there. I'm go find my little rock a step. There it is. One more minute as well on this episode. Looks like we're going to be refining the ore in episode two of season two, chapter two. A 30 minute Valheim. Once I get back to my base. Put things away. Be tuning out. Well, on the other hand, I do think I realize my math is wrong. But here we go. All right. Might be going a minute over. Right. I think I was eight and a half minutes before I started the timer. So I should have gone 21 in... Point three here, but it's now 30 seconds longer than that. I'm getting rid of stuff in my bags. But the thing is, at this point, I might be running out of space because now I'm mixing 
two regions worth of thing. Looks like I might have exactly enough space. So yeah, it looks like I got five Sertland, so that's going to be enough to make one refining system. Just enough. These do things start being refined. Pretty happy, pretty pleased about that. Look at that, I can just sit these here. I got a perfect amount of space <laughs> for what I need right now. Uh, with a couple of slots, but... Um, definitely time to expand and we'll be doing all of that and refining in the next episode thanks for bearing with me a little bit over 30 minutes on 30 minute valheim